So guys, welcome. Today we've got the preview show for Man City on the weekend. Big match, probably our toughest one of the season so far. Really, what do you think, Twerk? Um, I wouldn't say it's the toughest, but it's it's another one on the on the schedule. Um, there's a few things to talk about, obviously. Somebody that's not starting for them, maybe. Um, and then obviously all the less stuff. Lineups for us, probably the same, no one knows. Um, and then talk about the Man City, Haaland, We've heard he's not going to start, but you never know. He, people have come back from quicker stuff. So I, I anticipate a hard game, but I still think we could do something though. I think, like you said, it's a tough game. I, I think it is our toughest game of the season. I don't know who we've played tougher yet. I know Arsenal have been tough, but I think Man City overall have got such a good team that even with Haaland out of the side, they're still going to have a really strong attacking force, you know. They've got the likes of Marez up front, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne in attack. I think we are just lucky that they are going to miss Haaland uh, for the game, but it's a bit of a good and a bad thing because he's obviously one of the world's best players right now. It would have been nice to see him in, you know, down at the King Power. Yeah, um, I think I think it was the same when Ronaldo came to the King Power that as much as I didn't want him to, to score or anything, you just want to watch him, do, don't you? And someone like Haaland, yes, it would have been brilliant to see, but it's kind of maybe better a better side to it because now we haven't got to play against them hopefully um, and it gives us a big bigger chance to hopefully get a draw or a win and I think it's capable I think we can get a draw or even a win but it's, it depends how, how we show up on the day because if we show up against like we did against Arsenal or Chelsea I don't think we can get anything but then you'd say if the performance is there as much as it, it was a, against us like poor sides recently the performances for me were getting better so maybe if we play well again we, we could get something there. Uh, yeah I think like you said we've done well in the past few games but they have been against pretty rubbish teams mm -hmm. so we've got to be looking at it as it's Man City you know the fans uh, can be very quick to t turn their minds and want things if we lose to Man City the fans could very easily turn again to all Rogers out and stuff and you know, just keeping that, you know, I, I don't know, it's just weird how fans change their mentality after a few games. Like, I mean, like yourself, you said you're optimistic after the winning the past few games. I'm still not convinced by anything. These next three games for me are the real test. Yeah. Man City, a bit of a wash off. If we get something from there, great, that's good. Anything, you know, but the last thing we need to do is go and lose four or five nil to them because that would be, that doesn't really show we've made any improvements losing four, five, six nil again. Uh, West Ham and Everton again for me I think we've all kind of said that four point ballpark is what we need before the World Cup because we've mm. only got three more games really before the World Cup and I think a big talking point is if we are in the bottom three whilst you know we're in uh, the World Cup whilst England are playing in the World Cup and we're sat in the bottom three do we do anything to change it over that period? Um, I wouldn't say there's any change because I think I think the one big change this season, or the, or the last few games, is that set piece coach. That set piece coach. I think he, as much as we're not scored from set pieces, we're, con we're con not conceding them as much. Uh, we're doing different bit, bit of different styles of free kicks or set pieces in general. Better. Ho hopefully that'll be helpful into the Man City game and even the two games after that. But I know what you mean the the four point difference would help a lot going into the World Cup um, break, but. <sighs> Again, for me, like you say, I, I'm i being ambitious. I, as much as I know things haven't changed as much, the team's starting to get a bit of confidence in them, hopefully. And the last two games with wins, hopefully, will come into this Man City game and push us forward, I guess. Yeah, I, I hope so too. I can't, I don't know, I mean, it's not just uh, Man City are doing well and we're doing pretty poor kind of thing. It's uh, Man City are the best team mm. in the world kind of thing. They are not just in the Premier League, they are, you know top 10 quality in the world, not like I said, not just Premier League. So it's a tough one to even think about getting anything out of. I think when we talk a little bit of the lineup now, for me, I would drop Drews Mule personally for the mm. weekend. I think he's had, not stinkers, but I think Pratt's just looked a bit better than him. And there's nothing wrong with a bit of competition in the team to fight for a spot. And I think Pratt's, I think he's deserved to, you know, after making his appearance from Madison and then making a sub in the last game, he, he's looked creative, he looks fast and wanting to be in that team. I think he deserves a spot over Drews all personally. I called it before the match against the Wolves. I said that for me, as much as Drews Hall probably is one of the main starters in the squad because of his carry came into the season uh, last season, 
Um, I just I just feel like he maybe need a break as well. Maybe, like I say, a bit of competition won't harm harm anything. So maybe Pratt coming in would change that. Does that mean he gets put wide and puts Madison more centrally in his normal role? I don't know, but somebody against, against someone like Man City, will Pratt be good enough on that I wing? I don't when know. When you say, like, would you play him on the side? I think Pratt is a better player on the right midfield role, like that kind of holding the right side of the midfield and pushing up on mm. the wing more than Drews Biola. Drews Biola's a great, you know, he's got legs, he'll mm. run for, you know, run for as long as he wants. So you, it, he's good in that middle of the ballpark. But for me, the way that Rodgers has been playing him in the past few games, I think he's just running himself a little bit dry at the moment and he's not really been doing what we know he can do. He's been spending too much time running after the ball rather than holding his position. Like I said, that right side has been exposed a lot this season. So I think, like you say, I definitely would prefer to play Madison as a cam. We still, he needs to, Rodgers needs to get that through his mind a little bit to stop playing Madison on the wing. But like you said, when he played against Wolves and when Pratt, well, sorry, when O'Brien came on and played more of a wing yeah, spot, Madison that's when Madison scored. scored. It was, it's the case and as much as I don't mind Madison being on the wing because we don't really have another winger, like kind of to that level, I guess. Obviously, yes. Well, Madison's not a winger. No, I know he's thing. not a winger, but to the level, of, uh, uh, the high level we've got in players, I think, Maybe he's the best creative player we've got for that wing spot, and he does come inside. But like you say, we need to be bringing you say someone that though, in. But our vice captain is a right winger. But do you honestly, as much as I love El Brighton, do you really think El uh, Brighton yes. is still the quality we have and, and I need think for we ha- a game we against Man City? I don't. It think doesn't so. matter about Man City because we, we, if he's the vice captain and he's a right winger, and we want to play with a right winger. Surely you just play the player you've got in position. He's. He can't be a bad player because he's a vice captain. I know that might be a bit more behind the scenes. I was going to say, I think that's because he's been here but for still, so long. But still, it doesn't matter. You've made him vice captain. I th- like every fan will say, just like with Johnny Evans, mm. you know, if Johnny Evans was dropped, clearly he'll be saying, why have you dropped your captain? I know he's not been dropped, he's been injured. But if we were to drop him, say, well, clearly Rogers made a bad call in making him the captain. For me, all Brighton should just get into the team because I know we're a bit shy in that position. But for me, it, I know you're pulling faces, but it... it if Albright is on the right wing, it means Madison could be creative in the midfield, and I think that's more what we need rather than Albright being the winger we need. I think I, we just need Madison guess, to be the cam I, we need. I guess I, I see your point. I just I don't as much again as much as I love Albright, I just don't think he's we've, we've got the quality. I mean, yes, he's got a brilliant cross on him still. Yes, he, he knows he can get the ball to Vardy, but other than that, he can't take anyone on. I just don't think he's got. I don't know. I don't think he's got the brain in the Premier League now to, to do what we need. I, I disagree. Every time I see him play, I think he's always doing little plays with the. He always gets taken. Right he always gets taken up to pieces with their full backs every time. He always gets. I, I disagree. I think foot. if you watch him, I think he's he always puts in a seven out of ten game. He, I've never seen I, him I, do I, a bad I, game. I agree with that, but I just every time I've seen him against like, like Liverpool away, as much as it is a tough opponent. It's Liverpool away. I know. I know, but. He gets run wide. I everywhere. think we just need a bit of consistency in the team. I, I, I just wouldn't play a right winger if we, you know, when Albrighton's there mm. ready to play as a right winger. If you're going to play with someone on the wing, for me, Albrighton should slot into that position. I don't know who else you'd play really. I was, I was right just, winger. I was just thinking this, but I don't think we've got the back of either way. I've maybe put Castagna up there. He, he's he, got the cross on him. He knows what he. he but we don't have a right back. Exactly. Though. That's what I was thinking. I was saying that maybe he could be that that player to go forward. Um, but then you bet you barely got any cover. Um, so probably maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe even Porter Marty like that. If Johnny if does Johnny Evans come back in, you don't know. See, the, the, when you're saying it, it's all you're putting players out of positions a little bit more for me. Just play a right winger. Just play all Brighton. If you're gonna if you're gonna have a right winger. Just